Hello guys, this is Rick Utzer here with Ergon Web TV, and we are going to jump right in to this season's Going Ballistic. Now before we get started, I really want to just do a couple quick things. One, I have to say a super special thank you to H&N Pellets. They're the guys that are giving us the resources to do this, and they've been really patient because we had a lot of things that sort of hung us up last year that delayed this series, but we're able to finally pull it together now, and I think this is gonna be some really great information for you. Also, I have to say a super special thank you to Clear Ballistics. Now, those are the guys that provided all the ballistics gel. Now, we've done a few of these series, and I think this one really takes things to the next level, gives you some more practical data you can really sink your teeth into to know what kind of pellets to use with what kind of air guns delivering a certain level of power. So this year our focus is going to continue to be small bore lethality. We're using 177s and 22s. We've got a mix of Springers and PCPs. And these are gonna be average power guns. Everything from 15, maybe 12 or 15 foot pounds up to 30 or 40 foot pounds. So we're staying right in that pretty typical consumer range of power that you're gonna get off the shelf. We want you guys to see what you can expect at range, what kind of effectiveness you're gonna get, penetration, uh, wound channel, expansion, all that kind of cool stuff, we're gonna be talking about that. Now to launch this series, I decided to bring out one of my favorite, perhaps my favorite spring gun of all time. This is the Air Arms TX200, and it's pushing about 15 foot-pounds. Now, whether you're shooting a light pellet or heavy pellet, it's gonna be right in that 14 and a half to 15.1 foot-pounds, so you can pretty much expect that for energy. Now, what that means in velocity, well, we tested a bunch of different pellets and I'm going for maximum lethality. So for me, that's gonna be Barracuda Hunter Extreme, Hornets, Hunters. You know, it's this stuff that's like got a deep hollow point or some sort of thing in it that really gives it that expansion. Terminator's another great pellet we found this year. This gun really liked the Hunters, which are 18.2 grain, and it liked the Hornets. We're shooting at 25 yards. so. We've got flight time, we've got all kinds of things going on, and we've got a drop in velocity, which means that this is probably pretty typical of what's gonna happen when you hit game. You're still getting really good penetration with the hunters, and you get some really good wound channel. Now, when we switch over to the Hornets, these are probably one of the most, if not the most lethal pellet I've ever shot, whether it's in 177, 22, or 25, these things are just devastating. And as you can see, when it hits, you just get that sort of impact. And on small game, it's lights out. These things are awesome. So let's take a look at these again. Barracuda Hunters, 22 caliber, 18.2 grain. You can see when it hits the gel, it's definitely doing its job. It's imparting energy, it's creating a good wound channel, and it's getting the job done. You move over to the Hornets, and it even does more. The, the Hornets are just awesome. The beautiful thing about both of these pellets is in this gun, they're very accurate. So whether you pick the Hunters for a little more weight, maybe a little more penetration, or you pick the Hornets for maximum lethality, maximum expansion and dumping energy as quickly as possible, both are gonna do really well out of this gun. Again, this is pushing about 15 foot-pounds. You can see what it's getting done there at 25 yards. Guys, this is just the start of what we got this season. We've got five more guns we're gonna be talking about. Make sure you go and Check out the playlist, because I'll stack all of these in the playlist so you can watch them right in order. Again, I want to say thank you to H&M Pellets and Clear Ballistics for being patient with us this year while we pulled all this together. Guys, stay with us. This is going to be really fun. We've got a bunch more guns we're going to talk about. Thanks for watching.